do I hear a waltz is the story of Leona, who is a Midwestern secretary who has saved up her whole life for this trip to Venice. And we happen to meet in my shop. But my character is exceptionally honest. And he says, the one song I love is, take the moment. Now he's married, but he says, I haven't been happily married for eight or nine or 10 years or whatever, I don't know. But when you find someone you like, you really should take that moment and see what happens. I think Leona is looking for a miracle. She's looking for some time for herself and she doesn't know who she is. And then it unfolds from there and I think in quite a Sondheim way. That's a bittersweet story. Um, doesn't have a happy ending, but it has a touching ending, I think. The show is perfectly like halfway between like Rodgers and Hammerstein and, and Sondheim as we remember them. Like it's, if you're coming and expecting a, a Rodgers and Hammerstein show, you'll be like, hmm, it's a little darker, it's a little stranger. And if you're coming expecting a Sondheim show, you're like, it's a little too lyrical, <laughs> you know? It's, but it's perfectly in the middle. It's fascinating to listen to the show and hear the score and hear this music that's unmistakably Richard Rodgers. And yet you can hear Sondheim's particular point of view and his voice coming through in the lyrics and the combination of that is fascinating. Every five minutes you know, oh, I'm in a Rogers show. I feel like I'm in a dream, I feel like I'm looking out a window, I feel like I'm in a romantic place, and then all of a sudden I feel like a really damaged romantic. And I know that that's where Sondheim's and Arthur Lawrence's play is at work. This piece allows you to hear and experience amazing music sung with you know, great voices and sort of the way it was meant without it being over amplified and in your face. And it's just exceptional music. In many ways, it's, it's sort of a, a retro piece in that it's about the early 60s and about that time and how things were changing in the United States about being provincial and about uh, religion and morality and, and, and women coming into the fore a little bit more on their own. And yet, it was also still about um, finding that right person in your life and taking a chance. I think something that we're finding in rehearsal as we're putting it up on its feet is how incredibly modern it is. There's something about listening to the original Broadway cast and looking at the artwork from the original productions that feel very rooted in the 60s. But once the words are in the space, once we're playing the scenes, it feels as contemporary as anything you'll see. I think this is one of those shows that isn't about a time and a place and an event in history or anything like that. It's, just, it's a universal story of a lonely person who's looking for love, who finds it and doesn't know how to manage it. And I think, I would guess that every single one of us on the earth has been through that experience. And so it's, it, it never gets old and it never feels um, immature either. Mm -hmm.